there for eight hours. It was a nine hour course. We left an hour early yeah. and we're exhausted. I was hurting. Our brains have been stretched to yeah. the capacity. We were laughing though and stuff. I think that's what took a lot of energy out of us. He was a really good professor. Yeah, he um, was funny. Professor. Wait till y'all see my lunch. Wait till y'all see my lunch. Let me take these this glasses off. This is my lunch. I'm eating look? a snack with a snack. <laughs> I'm the snack. I got the catfish filet nuggets. They good. These mozzarella sticks are trash. And the mashed potatoes and gravy stick are good. I got some broccoli from home that I made this morning. You look good. And I have no a rotisserie chicken from Walgreens. I mean Walmart. Because we in the middle of nowhere. I'm not about to eat fast food and this way I don't have to go to the grocery store after I leave this because this is over at 5 o'clock. Mine's unhealthy, but that's okay because I'm unprepared. I have some veggies from Walmart. Some ranch. They really threw down on these catfish nuggets though. So we're going to do a little debrief slash lunch break because they gave us an hour lunch at the workshop that we're at. It's a cool workshop. I just learned about EKGs. Yeah, the workshop is like EKG, enhanced EKG, and capnography. Which is next. Which is, we haven't went over that yet. And we got a cute little certificate, like a free credit course. Our professor sent sends all the information out like um oh this is a cool little extra activity you guys could do if you're interested and i jumped on it because we're about to like we graduated we're just build that resume. finishing up i'm trying to build this resume and i'm trying to get these skills so i always jump on it usually we go to conferences a lot it's what real friends do friends that conference together stay together It'll be nice when we can have money and go to the lit ones. The real lit ones. I feel like this is a real cool, like low key conference that people should probably go to. It is. And it was free. Free. But she did tell us in the email, our professor, she said, usually it usually money. costs hundreds of dollars. Mm -hmm. And this guy, Bob Page, he's really good. He's a good teacher. I like him. He's pretty personable. Mm hmm. Make you laugh a little bit. That's true. I think we both realized coming to the end of the nursing program is what we wish we would have done in the beginning of the program. So like how we've been going to these conferences and just doing things outside of just nursing school and just clinical and just studying. We really should have been doing this from day one. But I feel like they don't really tell you that you can do these things and that they are available to do for free, for a reduced cost as a nursing student because like for example the one we went to in Atlanta I think the normal cost for RN was like 360 yeah it was like a lot of money but as a student what we paying 100 I think 150 125 right. so all these things that you could be doing and then it just kind of gives you an idea of what's out there meeting people you never know who you will meet mm -hmm. what kind of road they come from and just experiencing fun things that are actually educational. That little chicken over there though. Girl, you know I'm about to tear him up. Go ahead, Dory. I, I love me some rotisserie chicken though. That's like the go-to. Uh -huh. When you broke and you hungry and you still want to eat healthy, yep. get your rotisserie chicken. And if you pull the skin off, you super, super healthy. But the skin got all like the salt. See, I don't really like the, the skin. Oh, girl, so good. Because it got the flavor. They do have seasoned. Walmart can season some chicken, y'all. Oh. These mashed potatoes and gravy schmacking. <laughs> <laughs> Does Josh just make them work? They schmack. <laughs> that Girl. night that you were lit, that's all you was saying. Schmack. Schmack. <laughs> schmack. Oh, did I schmack? <laughs> so, like Brittany was saying, um, these conferences are like addition. We had class today, but we got out of class to come to this. And um, our professor was cool with it. And when we went to Atlanta, I had clinical, but 
I set it up with my professor so I could go to Atlanta for the CRNA conference and um, just make up that day. If there's something that you really want to do, you really want to get better at, and it's like somewhat school related, just let your professors know. Like they'll understand or they won't, and if they don't, you'll find another date to go to another event. But if they do, you'll get invaluable experience on top of the material you would have learned in class anyway. You know. Yeah. So we get to do like two things that we both like to do. Like we like to spend time together, but we also want to make it like productive time. So like. Us going to Atlanta, that counted as like a, girl's a vacation, trip. right? Like we got to go eat at little places and we were somewhere else, but we were also productive, like studying or going to the conference in general. And we got to travel. It was fun. Another thing about nursing school, you're going to have all these little opportunities to do an extra worksheet, you know, read an extra PDF, go to a two hour long conference. And it'll be optional. It'll be like hidden things in your like modules that they'll tell you you can do in addition to. I never did that. My first two years in nursing school. Me either. You couldn't pay me to do additional. Cause I was already doing enough. Cause you, yeah, you like, oh, I'm already in nursing school. I'm already doing mm -hmm. all this. Oh, sis, let me tell you, you need to do it. You learn so much about yourself, about friendships. And it builds your resume. Like, that's the number one thing I wish I would have known is I wish I would have known that I could build my resume while I was in nursing school. Because they always tell you, like, things you could do after or, you know, towards the end. But, like, you can start day one. You can start before you even apply to nursing school. Just little things like shadowing, mm -hmm. you know, working in a hospital, being a volunteer. So many little things. That's true. And... Okay, in nursing school, you're gonna learn, this is a big thing he talked about. You're gonna learn um, certain things. Like in nursing school, we learned EKGs. Then we learned what to treat it with. But now that we're here at this event, we're learning why. Why do you give mag sulfate for someone in torsades? Why do you, you know, give certain drugs? How do you spot that they have a high cal calcium level, but you didn't even run labs? Like, we're learning to piece all these things together and learning the why of it. Like, they do in medical school. For nursing school, you kind of learn, oh, this is what it looks like. These are signs and symptoms. This is what you treat it with. You don't really know why you treat it, but you know you're going to treat it with this. So, that was a big thing for me. That's why I like to come to little conferences, because you get to put all these pieces together. Like, they really dig deep into the big issue. And it's like other professions are there too so like you can hear their point of view like i remember like for our what was that rotation it was for like other interprofessional collaboration mm -hmm. and like learning like when you follow respiratory therapists like okay you might think you know what they do but really you don't until you follow them and those are just things that like you can take into consideration to make you a better nurse one day because we've all come across people in the hospital that you know you don't want to be like so when you go through all these experiences you can really take like things that okay i understand that a respiratory day looks like this mm -hmm. therefore this is what i'm gonna try to do to help them or any other profession or like the doc you notice they're being rude for certain reasons well it's like some of the things you can avoid because you're gonna know what ticks them off mm -hmm. so when you follow them they're gonna tell you Oh, okay, you're going to be a nurse? Okay, these are the things that I like my good nurses to do. So you take note, and you do that. Boom, boom, cat. <laughs> Schmack. <laughs> oh, have a good support system. Outside yes. of your family and outside of, like, your boyfriend or anyone else. I would also, say, like, a nursing bestie. Yes, have a nursing bestie to go to events like this because if she would have said she didn't want to go then I probably wouldn't have went because I didn't want to go yeah. by myself but I knew I, I really go wanted myself. to go but if you don't have a nurse and bestie girl go by yourself it was worth yeah. it because you I'll, never know who you might meet there yeah and um more importantly you're gonna learn a lot it's gonna be worth it so that is my video on conferences and our EKG capnography experience if you guys have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video.
and we're about to go take a nap yeah i'm so tired and i look whooped good night bye youtube bye